Hey guys, this is Adam with Adam Tech, and this week we're going to be jailbreaking the PSP Go that we fixed last week. This tutorial does go for every PSP there is out there. The only difference is that you need to have a memory card installed in the other PSPs, such as the 1000, 2000, 3000, and the PSP Street. The PSP Go has its own inbuilt storage, so I'm all good to go. All right, guys, with all that stuff out of the way, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we are on the most current software update, which is going to be 6.61. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go into our settings. So let's scroll over. All right, now we're in settings. Go to system settings. Scroll to find system information. And as you can see, I'm on version 6.61. So I'm all good to go. Now, if you're not, there's two ways you can update it. One is to go ahead and go to system update and just hit update via internet. The other way is if you download the update, you can put it to the root of your device, hit update via storage media. Obviously mine's not gonna find anything, but yeah. So as long as you're up to date, you're all good to go. Go ahead and hit USB connection and I'll see you over on the computer side for some files that we need. All right guys, so we are at the desktop. First things first, let's make sure our PSPs are connected. And mine is connected, so I'm just going to shrink that for a second. We'll go ahead and go to your chosen web browser. Uh, I'm going to include these three links. The first thing we're going to need is Infinity 2.0. That's going to be the exploit to get our custom software to run on there. The next thing I recommend downloading is this PSP EMU pack. It's basically every emulator you could ever want for the PSP. And the third thing is going to be uh, PSP 6.61 LME. Uh, you can go ahead and just download the first one. It's going to come in a zip file. It's going to wait a little bit, hit download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. Once you have all the files here, go ahead and put them into a folder and let's get unzipping. So go PSP. All right, now that we're all good to go here, go ahead, drag this over. And my PSP is under USB drive I. Yours will be probably underneath a similar name. So first things first, we'll go ahead and start with Infinity 2.3. And this is pretty easy. If you're using any PSP that's not the Go, use the standard file. If you are like we are today, we'll go ahead and click on the PSP Go folder. Both of them contain this eBoot file. Go ahead and copy it. Then we're gonna go over here, go to PSP, and go to game. And if you don't already have this folder update, go ahead and create a new one. Make sure update is in all caps. And we're gonna go ahead and paste it in there. All right, so now that's done. Go back to the root of your device. Oop, went, went too far. And we're gonna go to the LMA release. Now we don't need these, um, sorry, we, we don't need these text files, but we do need all of these. Go ahead and copy all the folders over to the root directory of your PSP or PSP Go. All right, pretty easy. Uh, we will come back a little bit later for the PSP EMU pack, but for right now, let's just leave it alone. And I will see you back at the console. All right, guys, we're over here back at the PSP side. So let's get out of our USB connection, go all the way to our games, go into the memory card. You can see the LME installer. Oh, wrong button. But the first thing we're going to hit is Infinity 2. Go ahead and hit that. I'll give it a second. All right, so we're going to hit press X to install Infinity. Go ahead and let's do that. We're going to hit X to reboot. And do make sure that if your PSP isn't fully charged to at least have it plugged in. Mine's 100%, so I don't worry about it too much. All right, it's going to take a second to reboot. All right. And it looks like we have it on there. So 
I would recommend keeping Infinity still on here uh, if you ever want to un-jailbreak your uh, PSP Go. But if not, go ahead and hit triangle and go ahead and delete it. But we're going to keep it here. So now we're going to go ahead and hit LME installer. All right. Okay, we're going to hit press X to install modules. All right, and then it looks like our PSP should be ready to go in just a minute. All right, here we go. All right, and now our console is modded, so we're able to run unlicensed software. So now we will head back to the computer for a second, and I'll show you what to do with emulated ROMs and put it in a couple of PSP games. Okay, guys, before we head to the computer for the second time, I did forget one crucial step, and that is to go back into Infinity 2.0 and check off which custom firmware we installed. Now, there are two options of custom firmware. There's a pro custom firmware and an LME, which is the one we went with. The only differences between the two are the VHS menu is slightly different. Otherwise, it's the same exact custom firmware. So what we're going to do from here is scroll to the left once, hit MECFW by Neuron. Again, even though it says ME, it is LME. Going to go back to the main screen, hit the PlayStation button and hit X to exit. All right, and then as soon as that reboots, we're all good to go. So now I will see you at the computer. All right, guys, so we're back at the computer. So let's go ahead and connect our PSP. All right, that's good to go. And open up our PSP folder from earlier. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into the PSP EMU pack once again and then these are all the emulators that you can drag and drop over to your PSP the only one I care about currently is GPSP by Kai that's a Game Boy Advance emulator and Master Boy which is a Game Boy Color and a Game Boy emulator so to do that you go into PSP go into game and we're gonna go ahead and drag them over now Master Boy is there and here we go for GBA Kai. Now you you can see what looks like ROM names, but they're actually cheat files ending in CHT. Uh, I can't actually tell you where to get ROMs, otherwise this video would be taken down almost immediately. Uh, but just Google them; you should be able to find them pretty easy. All right, so those are the only emulators I care about. Again, the process is the same for any of these. So we'll go ahead to where I store my ROMs, which is in this hard drive emulator. GBA. Now I'm not going to put my entire collection on here, but let's just do Advanced Wars. So go in GPSP Kai, GBA, and a ROM folder. So do that. Let's do Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Say Pokemon Emerald. There you are. And Link to the Past. All right. Now we'll do our Game Boy Color. So go to Master Boy, Game Boy Color. And where are you? Go up one, Game Boy Color. Only a few games in here, so I'll just drag them all over. And again, the process is the same for any emulator on here. Now, what we will do is go ahead and get our PSP ISOs on here. So go ahead and navigate to the root storage. So right here. And if the folder isn't already there, go ahead and add one. New folder. ISO and again it has to be all in caps all right and then we'll navigate to our PSP games again I can't put all of them on here but I'm just gonna put a couple so let's go with 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 12. Uh, Duodecimum. So let's put that there. And then we'll put, let's say, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. All right. So this process is going to take about five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'll see you guys when it's all done. All right. So it looks like everything's been transferred over. It's Final Fantasy Ratchet and Clank. So I will see you on the PSP side. All right, guys. Now they're back from the computer for the second time. Let's go ahead and make sure our games work. Now, if you don't see your ISO files at first, like we put in Ratchet and Clank and Final Fantasy, go ahead and relaunch the LME launcher for 6.61, and it'll fix any errors that have came about. So let's go ahead and launch Final Fantasy just to make sure it works. Not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to replaying this game. I think I spent 150 hours on the first one just so I could get, I think it was like Primal Form Chaos. All right, looking good so far. Now, I know it says save data, but I just got to the Goddess, tutorial. The Goddess of Harmony. What? Chaos, God of Discord. Cool. Looks like everything is working okay. So we can go ahead and quit. And then the next thing we'll check out is going to be the Game Boy uh, Color Emulator. All right, so let's go to Game Boy Color. It's going to be Master Boy 2.10. Now go ahead and just click through these couple splash screens. Go ahead to load ROM. And let's go ahead and load, let's say, Pokemon Yellow version. All right, looks like everything's working good so far. Good, good. And then remember, in these games, they're going to be swap buttons. So normally for PlayStation, X is confirm, Circle is back. Well, for Nintendo, it's going to be Circles confirm and X is back. So go ahead and hit confirm. As you can see right there, we're already starting to play Pokemon Yellow. All right, hit the PlayStation button to exit. Hit quick game. And then the last one, we'll go ahead and make sure our Game Boy Advance games work. So again, hit X. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and hit start from our ROM. So let's go ahead and launch, let's say, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. All right. All right. And that is Kirby. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something along the way, and I hope you guys can enjoy your new modded PSPs and get to play a bunch of new games on it. If you like what I do, go ahead and like and subscribe. I do try to put out new videos every week. This is Adam. Thanks for watching.